Hi everybody, welcome to yet another video. So today we're going to do one of our little comparison videos and for those that are new to the channel then warm welcome to you. Um, I've got a couple of panels that I do, I like to do back to back, so something V something else. Uh, so that everything, the idea that everything is the same including the temperature and including the painter's frame of mind except for the spray gun. So that's what this is today. So and so we've got a couple of car panels that are exactly the same. We're going to be using the Segola 3300. This is actually a, it's a black racing edition. But what it is, it's, the, it's effectively the tech cap, which is what you get with a GTO car. So it's, it's the, um, the one designed, the Segola 3300 that's designed for um, lacquer designed for lacquer finishing although you can use it for base coat and that as well so it's not the hvlp it's not the evo etc which is more designed for um, primer sealers things like that this is the actual uh, base coat stroke mainly lacquer gum so or clear coat gum and i'm put that putting that up against the walcom slim combat uh, in hte form they also do that in hvlp as well but uh, I'm using it in HTE form, which is all I've got, actually. But one of the things I will say, you'll see me using a microwave at various stages in this video. I will do a disclaimer. I keep doing it just in case something happens. But don't do this. Don't do this. You really shouldn't be doing this. But it is what I do. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's not supposed to be done. I'm sure it's dangerous, but it is what I do. I haven't had any problems with it, but I wouldn't recommend it for one minute. Anyway... Uh, that's a disclaimer over with. Um, yeah, the Walcom Slim Combat. Now, the reason I put these two together is because they are, depending where you live, they're about the same price in most places. Uh, I got this Segola Black Racing, which is a limited edition one. It came out last year, actually, which is when I got it. Um, but I actually bought it in Spain. Um, our family's lucky enough to have a um, a home in Spain. And, you know, I go over to visit people, etc., etc. So I go over there and I can pick things up, uh, buy them in Spain and pick things up and uh, get them much cheaper than I can in, in the UK, which is where I'm from. So I got this in, you know, one of my little shopping sprees. I went and got this black racing now it's a 1.4 so any other video i've done on the scale of 3300 has always been on the 1.3 but i wanted a 1.4 because it's interchangeable between all the guns obviously because it's only the uh the black finish and the color of the caps and controls that are different um as you see that actually looks quite good i think it looks quite nice um but it's it's fully interchangeable with the rest of the 3300. Another reason for pitting these two against each other, as well as the, the fact that, as I say, it does depend where you live, but predominantly they're similar price. And I'm sure some people are going to come up with scenarios where one's 100 euros more than the other, or, you know, 80 pounds or 110 dollars or whatever. But, you know, I can only, I can only take a, an average of what these things sell for but they tend to sell for a similar price uh, certainly where i am anyway but in this case i actually got the uh segola quite cheap but i also got the um the walcom slight uh, really cheap but that was about three three four years ago and things have gone up everything seems to have gone up as, as you'll appreciate even doing the shopping you'll find that's gone up wouldn't you so things have things have gone up but Another thing that I wanted to, you know, besides just price, is that these things couldn't really be more different. Uh, not in the way they perform, as you, as you can see, or hopefully you can see, they both perform really, really well. But simply in the way that they are built and they feel to you is, is quite, quite different. So for something that's a similar price, the actual user experience is quite different. I mean, with the Segola, which obviously we're using at the moment, it is built like a tank. Uh, it's quite heavy, but it feels really, really good in the hand. It feels solid. It feels like it will outlast you. Now, I realise it depends how old you are, but, you know, in my case, it certainly feels like it'll, it'll outlast me. So, yeah, a, a really good gun, very well made. Spray superbly. 
uh, well superbly is probably the wrong word sprays very very well sprays very well for a gun at this sort of price uh, so it, it's a good um, you know if you don't want to spend top top money on a gun but you want a, a spray gun that's going to last you well give you good performance and do everything well this is an this is an ideal gun and not be too expensive because as i say for 199 euros which is what i paid for it um you'll see there a run um i did get a run with it uh i'm not used to using it in one point it's just an excuse really i just i just put too much on <laughs> but uh, i don't often get runs to be honest but yeah i did i did in the, uh, this this time and it will be even more surprising when you see me using the Walcombe that I didn't get a run with that because I'll, I'll I'll let you into a secret in a minute what happened with the Walcombe but going back to the the Segola yeah it's a really good gun very big fan definitely an I pattern rather than an O pattern uh, a lot of people seem to uh, I certainly get a lot of comments and messages on Instagram and things like that about about something being an eye pattern uh and uh, an eye pattern is the thing that you you always want and i i wouldn't say that's actually the case uh it's horses for courses really i often find sort of like an eye pattern better for base coat and more of a, a, a smaller wetter pattern better for clear coat but it does depend what clear coat you're using we're using the the cheap u-pole 2080 in this comparison it does like to go it does like to be put on uh, you need to put a lot of it on um and that's my excuse for a run basically <laughs> although it's a poor excuse i must admit but the idea is with it you need to spray more or less for the finish so you need a gun that actually puts it out quite well if you're using a better quality clear coat that flows out better you won't need to worry so much and you'll be able to move a bit faster as well but as i say with this stuff you really do need to get it on but going over to the walcom one thing you'll notice immediately going to the walcom from the segola which is another thing that's good with these comparison videos because i'm literally doing one and then i do the next thing so everything's fresh in your mind uh and as i say the only thing that is different is the gun and immediately it literally feels and indeed is half the weight of the segola it just it just feels really really light in the hand now i'm quite a big chap i'm not uh i'm not super strong uh, but I'm a reasonably okay. So, you know, holding a gun that's quite heavy doesn't really bother me much. Uh, but there is something nice about holding a gun that is really light. Uh, it just feels really flickable. You know, you can just move it around a lot. And doing like we're doing here, just a car panel uh, from left to right, left to right, left to right. It probably doesn't make loads and loads of difference. But I normally do bike stuff. And some of the bike stuff can be a bit more intricate um than just doing you know a couple of a couple of panels on a car um and that maneuverability actually is is really nice to have that lightness and maneuverability is actually really nice so there is something to be said about having light spray guns and i keep my spray guns in a case a case of four normally um i've padded cases and i keep the four together and and in my case i've got four walcombs that I keep together some of the carbon ones and one of them is this one and the, the the lightness of that case compared to any other case that I've got with these guns in is, is really noticeable so they definitely they definitely are light now I'm sure that it's not going to last me as long as the Segola would uh, I think I will probably see this out rather than in the Segola where the Segola will probably see me out if that makes sense so definitely not built as well with the tips and and here comes the reason for uh, this gun being faster than it would actually i can certainly remember it and i would have thought it would be i originally thought i was using here a 1.3 tip with a 1.3 cap sure enough as you can see now i was using a 1.3 cap but I actually had a 1.5 tip in it. Uh, now the reason for that is that I've got a couple of different guns. I've got a Slim X Lite and I've got a Slim Combat. And you can actually change the tips 
Uh, I can't remember the needles are interchangeable. I think the needles are as well. I think it's the needle, the tips, and you can change the caps as well. But you need to take the center of the cap out because the actual bezel on the outside, the thread is slightly different between the uh, X-Lite and the Slim Combat. But otherwise, the caps are the same. So I do a bit of a bit of swapping, and what I have actually done by mistake is I forgot to swap the tip over. So what you are about to see is quite a fiery display because I thought this gun was really good. And as I say, I'm using the U-Pole clear coat and the, and the U-Pole does like to be put on really well. So I'm effectively using here a 1.5 tip in a one, with a 1.3 cap. The caps are the same. Um, I think the centre hole is slightly different to allow for the bigger tip. But the, as far as the air holes and everything, they're all exactly the same. So they'll work more or less the same. Um, so there is no, no big deal here. All I'm effectively using is a 1.5 HPE instead of a 1.3, which, you know, the Segoda is a 1.4, so it's still comparably. I, I don't think they make a 1.4 for the uh, Walkham, but, you know, it's as near as I can get it. But you can see, for a gun of this size and this weight, it, it just piled it on. Uh, which is what the as I say, what the U-Pole like. So it was very, very easy to use. Um, I didn't actually get any runs on this, which is quite weird when you consider that it, it's... Although you react to what you're painting, don't you? When you're a painter, if you're new to painting, you probably won't understand what I'm, what I'm saying, but you, you react to what you see. So your speed is totally dictated to what you see. As soon as you pull that trigger and start a panel... You will see the way your clear is lying. And with the U-Pole, this is two full coats. So you give it two full coats of clear, whereas some clears you'll give it uh, effectively half a coat, so a light tack coat, and then a full coat. Some now, actually, you just give a full coat. The ultra high, Some of the ultra-high solid clears, uh, they're saying the t t technical data sheet just says give it one solid run of clear coat but anyway this is two full coats and you react to what you see and that dictates the speed of the gun and that that's a, the difference between the speed you go will be the pressure you're using <coughs> sorry the material you're using your distance from the work the temperature lots of different variants uh, people sometimes message me and say you know I've got um LPH 80, what, what are the settings? And it, it's you can advise them on the air pressure setting um, and you can advise them on the distance and you can advise them on the amount of fluid, but it really does depend what you're doing and what material you're using and, of course, what finish you want. Here we're just after the, the flattest finish we can get. Good reason to use test panels rather than trying to match anything else. Um, this gun is a really, really good gun. I haven't used it for quite a while, and it, it made me think of how nice it is to use. Now, compared to the Segola, it's not its not a better gun. Uh, it, it definitely feels lighter, which, as I say, does make it feel um, just flickable. So I, I suppose it depends what you want, really. If you want something that's going to last you years and years and years, be dependable, easy to get spares for, or relatively easy to get spares for. And I say that because Walcom, of, of, of all the people that contact me after getting spare parts for guns, because people do ask me where, where they can get spare parts from, <clears throat> and to a degree, I try, try and help them. But Walcom is the one, particularly in the US, Walcom is the one that comes up the most uh, as being difficult to get spare parts from for. Uh, now, that shouldn't be the case, especially if you're talking about, in the case of the US, $1,000 guns. You know, some of these carbon uh, 360s, the Evo as it is now, uh, same gun basically as the um, X-Lite, just slightly different base to it. Uh, if you're talking about a thousand dollars, seven hundred and fifty GB, eight hundred and eight hundred GB pounds, then you should be able to get spare parts for the things. So 
it's the goal is probably the thinking man's gun. The person who just wants something that's going to give them a good job, feel good in the hand, um, should last years, but not years and years as with the Scola, then definitely um, the Walkham. That's what I would say. Now you see the two panels now. This is a really high metallic green paint. Uh, it's a flow coat, so it should look quite good. We're going to see it uh, without the sun on it in a minute, so you get a better idea of how flat or not the material is. But you can see both of them produce a really good finish. It would be really difficult to split the two of them. Uh, as I say, one's probably more the thinking man's gun, which is the Segola. Um, I think that's probably what I would choose if I had to choose either and it was my only gun or you know I only had two guns or something I'd probably choose the Segola simply because I know that I wouldn't you know nothing nothing's really going to go wrong with it whereas the uh, the Walcom it does it does seem although I haven't had anything go wrong with it it does seem like there, there could be something that would go wrong with it so the panel on both of these uh, final shots two days old I leave it for a couple of days just for them to die back initially uh, the panel on the left on both of these is the panel that was uh, shot with the uh, Walkham. And on the right hand side, the one we're looking at now, is the panel that was, you can see the run, the top right hand corner, uh, is the panel that was shot with the um, Segola. But both of them, really nice, super flat finishes, considering it's a U pole clear coat, which as I say, doesn't flow out super flat. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching as always. Bye bye.